Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So students, in this video, we will discuss the theory explanation of unit number 2 in statistics for management subject. Okay. So in unit number 2, along with the problematic, you need to give preference to theory also. Okay. So there are lim very limited questions you are having in unit number 2. Now let's get into this video. We will discuss every question, whatever it will be helpful for your final examination. Okay. The first question theory you are having. Uh, the whatever the important thing is there that only i will explain it so that it will be helpful to you okay the first important is probability distribution and what are the types of probability distribution with real time examples okay probability distribution is a set of probabilities of all the possible outcomes outcomes of a random experiment you are doing a random experiment in that experiment what are the probabilities means what are the terms you are having which will get the outcomes possible outcomes you will get it okay probability distribution is nothing about the problemistic in nature it will have the possible outcomes in a random experiment okay for example x is a random variable which takes the value of x1 x2 x3 and so on the probability associated with each of the possible values of x is x1 p o p a x is equal to x1 p i is equal to 1 2 3 like that you can having the pairs also okay so based on that you need to draw a table ma. okay x1 x2 x3 x4 like xn in that p1 p2 p3 p4 like that you are having the probability so what is the probability distribution function it is represented as f of x g of x h of x as etc okay so what it will do what are the proper properties we are having in this uh, probability means whatever the n number of items are there it will be identical identical they are asking okay next one they have asking each each trial whatever is there it is independent of the other trial means each one one is different with the another one and normal thing normal distribution whatever you are having it will be always a zero or a positive or a negative it may be and what are the different types of probability distribution you are having means it is divided into two types ma discrete distributions continuous distribution in discrete uniform binomial poison negative binomial geometric hypergeometric in continuous rectangular normal exponential gamma beta cauchy distribution sharing simple you are remembering you need to just uh, put on this names in the examination booklet no need to explain separately uh, like uniform distribution means what binomial distribution means what no need to explain it okay so this is the thing about the first important question you are having ma. so mostly one theory question compulsory it will get but give preference to the problematic also okay instead of learning theory because theory is not a thing of writing the own if you are perfect with the problematic only then only will understand all this x1 x2 x3 and gamma beta like that okay so normal distribution question is there what are the applications of normal distribution this is one of the important question in unit number two normal distribution was discovered by abraham in 1733 okay whatever the binomial distribution limitations are there to prevent that this normal distribution r came into existence so in normal distribution whatever the probability is there whatever the things are calculated whatever the things are calculated it will be a probability of getting the always zero normal distribution will always get zero that is called normal probability distribution normal distribution n is equal to always be a zero we can call it as a frequency curve or a normal curve delta u this one the symbol is mean as a uh, this one this symbol whatever is there it is meant to be mean and this is meant to be variance mean and variance whatever the mean and variance relationship is there whatever the things are there two different variables and the mean that is called normal distribution for this normal distribution but definitely this diagram you need to draw it okay so this is the normal distribution diagram so normal distribution formula is f of x is equal to 1 by standard deviation under root 
2 pi e this is the formula whatever you are having you need to remember as it is you need to by hard it and you need to elaborate the answers okay x stands for continuous random variable this is mean this is variance this is mathematical constant like that you need to mention it okay there is nothing to explain in this answer ma once you think wisely so it is like whatever the thing you are having you need to by hard it simply and compulsory if you are attempting a theory question in unit number 2 try to draw like this type of diagrams in your examination for theoretical answers okay so definitely you will able to score the marks from unit number 2 or else you can prepare binomial distribution or poison distribution problematic also okay if you are preparing problematic along with that you need to have some knowledge about the theory also no? so for that cases i am explaining this video i hope that you have got clarity if you are having any further doubts let me know in the comment section see you all in next video bye bye everyone